and welcome to this video and if you're new welcome to my channel yes I know I, I look so tired and I don't have any makeup on I've been sick for a couple of days now and I'm feeling better right now but still not 100% but I really want to do this video for you guys now I already did a makeup look using uh, this this iconic division palette for makeup revolution this is one of the new palettes and it turned out amazing i really love the makeup look i created with this palette i'm going to put link down below for that video if you missed it today i'm going to create a makeup look using this palette this is iconic vitality and i have a two others that i'm going to do a makeup look also but not today so if you want to see that subscribe to my channel i also have a giveaway going on so i'm going to put that link to that video down below so you don't miss that there are some amazing products that you can win but back to this palette this is uh, the new iconic vitality i think it's pronounced and i haven't touched it i haven't played with it i did look at the shades can, this can be my everyday eyeshadow palette because it has some very nice neutral shades some sh soft shimmery shades and i really really like this palette now uh, how it looks i don't know how it's going to look on my eyes while using it but today we are going to create a makeup look using this palette and if you want to see that please keep on watching so i'm going to do like i did in my last video i'm going to first create a makeup look then I'm going to swatch all the shades because sometimes the swatches are pretty bad and look very chalky and very powdery but on the eyes the eyeshadow palette works beautifully that is why I'm going to do makeup look before I'm going to do swatches so you can see how the eyeshadow blends on the eyes because that is the most important thing now I'm also going to use for the first time this Urban Decay eyeshadow primer portion that I'm trying out also, the project that I'm doing right now, I have so many eyeshadow primers that I really want to use. But this is the most beautiful packaging. Whoop, great. So I'm going to use this on my eyes today and create a makeup look. Now I already have a makeup look in my head. I haven't seen any videos for this particular palette, for this palette because I didn't want to get inspired. I don't really want to hear what other thing people think, us, think about that palette before I use it. I want this experience and thoughts being all mine. This is an honest channel and I really do my best to review products and tell you what I think, how they work on my very oily eyelid, combo skin I can say, very strange skin. Uh, this primer was a little bit oily, but dries down very fast. Okay, I'm going to set that and I'm going to set that with my powder. And I'm going to use this uh, Rimmel Stay Matte. And I'm going to do the rest of my makeup after doing my eyes. Because I want to do another video, separate video for that. Uh, this shade over here looks a little bit shiny. Not as shiny as the others be, uh, next to it but look it like it has some shine in it i hope i'm wrong because it would be amazing uh, transi transition shade but they are powdery i don't know if you can see but when i press there is some fallout i'm going to do something that i haven't done for a long time now on my channel and that's a cut crease I really hate this brush. Why did I use it? Let's switch the brush. I'm going to take this from Zoeva. This is 228. And then I'm going to go into this shade here, this one, in my crease. This shade blends like a dream. And with the same brush, I'm going to go into this shade here next to the one that we just used and take it in my crease. Such a beautiful shade. I'm going 
going to bring it all the way in. And then I'm going to take a smaller brush. I think I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to go into this looks like a dark brown shade here and blend it in the crease also. I'm going to take a clean brush and blend. I'm going to do my cut crease. I took a little bit too much of the concealer. I'm going to use this concealer right here. Uh, this is a sheer cover concealer brush. I think I had this for, I can actually say over seven years and it's my favorite concealer brush. Uh, especially when I do my cut crease, I don't know why, or when I go around my eyebrows, I just love uh, this brush. I did broke it, but I tried to fix it because this is my favorite brush. brush. And I'm going to do my cut crease. And then I think I'm going to take this shade here with this brush. This is from a Naked Palette, Urban Decay, without any Fix Plus. Look how beautiful this is. Very pigmented. So beautiful and of course I'm going to take this uh, brush again take that dark brown just to fix and blend a little bit here I'm going to take smaller brush this is also Zoeva 230 and I'm going to take no is this a shimmer shade no I'm going to take this that we had in our crease and smudge on my lower lash line. Take that dark brown I'm going to take that clean brush, blending brush, and take this first shade here. a little bit shimmery and then I'm going to take my finger and use this shade this nice like rose soft rose shade in my corners this turned out very nice and it's going to look better when I do the rest of my makeup so I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back so guys my makeup look is done and I really like how it turned out. It looks like an everyday makeup look or everyday cut crease makeup look. I'm very surprised how easy these eyeshadows were to blend, how beautifully they worked without any setting spray or fix plus the shimmery shade. So let's do the swatches and see how they look. We are going to start with this road up here.
say they are not easy to remove from my hand. They are very powdery, but they swatched nice, but they worked much better on the eyes. I'm really surprised how they work. This is an amazing palette. It's not expensive. I really love this palette. This is going to be my everyday palette, I think, because I'm very happy how this makeup look turned out and I'm actually going to create it a couple of more times because I'm in love with it. And um, it, this was very easy cut crease. I hope this video was helpful. Please give a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to, to enter my giveaway. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.